Russell Jackson for Pop Foods TV. My first inaugural guest, Yvonne Limon. Yeah. Chef, owner of uh, Bodega Negra in the Dream Hotel. Uh, I don't own it yet. <laughs> There's still other bosses. I haven't gotten to the point where I just say, you know, kill him and it happens. That's why. We're, we're getting there, we're working there. Yeah. We know each other uh, as, uh, I guess, family members in the respective food networks. Absolutely, are. yeah. I, I just have to say straight out, and I, I'm not sure if I told you this before. Um, you're confess you're not in love with me. <laughs> 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 no, you know, it's, it's like I, you know, it's like you were my handicap. You were my pick. I, I honestly perceived you were going to win the whole thing. You know? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> that's that's awesome. Thank you. I know this happens to you. you you're someplace. You're walking around the city. You're having a meal. You're not even thinking about it, and somebody walks up and goes, "Hey, you should have been the winner." Yeah. How, how badly does that burn you yeah, up? At the beginning, I was like, I, I was more hurt than anything else. Yeah. Like at the end, it was more yeah. pain. I was like, yeah. damn it, you know, it's it's. But then it, it started to, to be part of the healing process. Not to sound so savvy about it, but it, it's it started to be like part of the healing process. And, and anytime that somebody said, you know what, you're you're my pick, you're my fave, you know, I, I wish you had won. And it's I was like, hey, I wish I would have won too. <laughs> like even in my case, there's an element of winning sort of the electoral vote and then yeah. losing the popular vote. Yeah. And there's no sort of rhyme or reason to it why it happens or how it's happened. But in the yeah. end, you know, like here's the outcome. And you know, like a, again, here's that thing. Of, well, we lost, but did we really do? Yeah, so, which is kind of ironic because if you if you ask Justin and Justin and I are, are friends like from yeah. the beginning, we were bunkmates. Yeah, like we yeah. we got drunk, we pulled out beds into the hallway. I heard like we we destroyed the place. And, I heard so many yeah. friggin' stories. You know, it, we you know obviously we shared sort of jailers. Yeah, uh, in that respect, uh, and uh, uh, Natalie. Yeah. Uh, uh, was, yeah, there was, was a point was, where we were like, <laughs> <laughs> Natalie probably wanted to kill herself. She was drinking heavily. Took oh my God! She, she, the story she used yeah. to tell, and uh, there was the uh, the sneak out. Oh yeah. Uh, there was the um, uh, the hooch, uh, the closet hooch. Oh uh, yeah. Production, <laughs> which we also, you know, we were, you know, granted, did, you know, quietly went out and bought booze, but but uh, I know that you guys were at, you guys were so locked down yeah. that, uh, that uh, you yeah, guys we were, were making making like, booze, we were making, making booze. jailhouse yeah. booze. It was it was <laughs> ironic. I still remember like coming back from shooting one day, and we had forgotten that we had this this stuff brewing in in like this little closet. And we're like, oh shit, the the booze. So we grabbed the kettle and we filled it with water and we we, we boiled it and right. we put it in there. So we're like, it's too cold in this place. It's too cold. It's not gonna ferment. Fast Holy enough. God! So we're like, we need to heat up this room. So we started it's steaming this little room and it's it, it's just it's funny what you end up doing